At least 100 trainees have started an 18-month training program with an additional 100 to follow. These future production technicians will be key in the Tilenga project, an essential part of Uganda's oil and gas sector. So these 200 people will benefit from an investment of, three, uh, of $30 million for their training and development to make them ready at first, at first oil. How long is it supposed to take the whole program? Two and a half years. Total Energy signed a contract with UPIC in January 2022 for the training initiative. The investment in the academy has enabled UPIC to upgrade its facilities, including new medical facilities, an ambulance service, dormitories, and advanced equipment. We'll have a six months where we'll be uh, our training uh, students to our uh, approved standards. So Opito, Opito is offshore. Uh, petroleum industry organization, so they'll be taken through foundation and subsequently level one. And then, uh, so here we'll have the production technicians and then, of course, the maintenance technicians. So, so people will be operating their fields, the Tilenga fields, and then, of course, people will be maintaining the facilities in those fields. Since its establishment in 2009, UPIC has been targeting meeting international standards to earn trust of companies like Total Energies. This partnership underscores the Institute's ability to prepare its students to meet the demanding requirements of the oil and gas sector. We expect about 13,000 workers directly employed in these, these, these projects, Tilenga, Kingfisher and the pipeline. And uh, the activity is now at the peak, so we actually have about 13,000 people working in the projects. It's very exciting that over 90 percent of these workers are actually Ugandans. Uganda's preparedness to begin commercial oil production in 2025 relies on the initiatives like the Tilenga Academy by empowering local talent and fostering national participation in the industry. Uganda is positioning itself for sustainable growth in the global energy market. Wadulo Makanol for UBC News in Chigumba.